Fresh claim, Meghan and Harry are being forced to scrounge as money runs out. According to a biography, Meghan thought Prince Harry would be worth hundreds of millions or billions of dollars. According to a royal biographer, Meghan and Harry must scrounge for money in order to live the luxurious lifestyle they desire. According to Tom Bauer, who wrote Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the battle between the Windsors, Meghan is money-obsessed and desires an opulent lifestyle that includes access to private jets on demand and rides in posh automobiles. He asserted that Meghan even got married to Prince Harry for that purpose in an interview with GB News' Dan Wooten. She was quite surprised and disappointed to learn that Prince Harry was extremely poor, he said. She mistakenly thought he would be worth hundreds of millions, if not billions, and now she must make up for it. She desires to travel in commanding private aircraft and large Cadillacs. She must currently scrounge for those kinds of stuff. Despite tension with the royal family, Meghan and Harry will regret missing the coronation. Apparently, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's prospective participation at King Charles III's coronation has certain members of the royal family on edge. King Charles III's coronation is scheduled for May 6, and neither Prince Harry nor his bride Meghan Markle have indicated if they plan to attend. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's attendance at Charles's wedding has reportedly raised some worries within the royal family due to the revelations made in their six-part Netflix documentary and Harry's frankness in his biography. Despite this, it is well known that Harry and Meghan have been invited, and some royal pundits claim the American couple regrets not taking a quick trip over the pond to see the king's coronation. The co-hosts of the podcast Pod Save the King, Russell Myers, and Zoe Forsey, recently discussed Harry and Meghan's probable reunion with the royal family. They will obviously be invited, the king wouldn't be so churlish to not invite them. But I am told by people who are very close to the Sussexes that they are still undecided about coming, according to Mr. Myers, who said last week that there has been lots of talk that the royal family expects them to come. I believe they will come, he added, posing the question, why would they want to pass up the opportunity? But, the royal editor of the Daily Mirror remembered a chat he had with a source who insisted that since the Duke gave multiple media interviews last month, nothing has changed for him. He wants remorse, reconciliation, or at least the inclination to reconcile, according to Mr. Myers. And nothing has changed despite the fact that it isn't happening. But, as far as I'm aware, they still haven't held a summit or those important discussions on anything, he continued and I doubt they'll be very open before the coronation, yet, I am positive that they will arrive. They wouldn't miss the chance to attend such an event, I promise you that much. Regardless of the current tensions, Ms. Forsey concurred, saying, it's such a significant occasion, they will always feel guilty for not participating if they don't go. Their remarks follow speculations that the Duke and Duchess would not attend the coronation if there was a similar unpleasant atmosphere to that experienced by the late Queen Elizabeth II during her burial in September and Platinum Jubilee festivities in June. That puts them in a fairly hard position because I think it is going to be the same, contended Mr. Myers. Several family members still feel terrible, terrible hurt and believe Harry and Meghan shouldn't be attending the coronation. They don't want them there because they fear that everything will turn into a circus. The commentator described how numerous members of the royal family traveled together to be with Her Majesty at Balmoral on the day of Queen Elizabeth's passing. Harry was forced to go alone whilst Prince William, Prince Edward, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and Prince Andrew all boarded the RAF jet. Harry wrote in his memoir that he leased a plane out of Luton because he hadn't heard from his older brother.